episode of JoJo Science Show, we're going to make ah, 10 awesome gadgets with this Neuron Explorer Kit. Who put a bunch of animals in this thing? Wow, this guy's rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, jumbling, gumbling. Wake up! Good morning! Hey! Prepare to be amazed. Welcome to JoJo Science Show. I'm really excited today because the really nice people at MakeBlock sent me the MakeBlock Neuron Explorer Kit. If you want to follow MakeBlock on social media, there will be links in the description that take you there. So let's get started. This is a neuron cell, like the ones that make up your brain, and this is the Neuron Explorer Kit. This is one of the best educational toys you can get. You can build so many things with this. With Neuron, you can exercise your brain power and your creativity. <laughs> right here on the left, we have all the sensor or input blocks. And right here on the right, we have all the output or actuator blocks. In robotics, a block that does something is called an actuator because it makes an action happen. Action! I bet you're wondering what all these blocks are. Well, let's see. Here's the light sensor, the temperature sensor, the ranging sensor, the knob, the funny touch, the buzzer, the LED strip driver, the LED panel, and the DC motor driver. And all of these blocks are powered by one block. Bum, ba, da, ba. A smart power block. The smart power block can connect to your smartphone or tablet with the Neuron app in the Android or Apple app stores. And you can program these blocks to behave differently. You can also check out the Swift Playgrounds app for iPad. And when you subscribe to the Neuron Playground, You'll get over 30 lessons in the Swift programming language. Can you imagine how many things you could build with this? These blocks snap together because they're magnetic. So let's get building. Here's an LED strip. Let's see if we can make the LED strip light up on its own. I have a small circuit here with a power, a knob, and an LED strip block. And then once I plug in the LED strip to the block, once I turn it on and I turn the knob, the more I turn it, the more the lights will come on. Whoa! Look at those rainbow colors! Hmm. I have a great idea. I know what I can do with this. The kit came with all these cool cardboard cutouts. Are you wondering what we're going to do with this cardboard? Well, we're going to make a lightsaber! Here's what's inside. The instructions for this project are in the Neuron app. It shows you how to fold the cardboard and how to build the project. The kit came with a plastic tube that we put the LED strip into to create our lightsaber. We need our LED strip driver our knob input block, and our smart power block. Now I need to connect the LED strip to the LED driver block. I just connected the Bluetooth to the smart power block. The Neuron app already contains the code to control the lightsaber. You can easily edit the code to change the color of the lightsaber. So basically, when the knob is at 0 to 35, it changes it to orange, when it's at 36 to 70, it changes it to blue. And when it's 71 to 100, it's multicolor. Oh, where in space did I put my lightsaber? Oh, this isn't mine. But it'll work, it's red. Are you wondering what we're gonna do next? 
If you guessed a ukulele, you are correct! For the next part, we need the funny touch block, the, the alligator clips that go with the funny touch, and the ground wire alligator clip. Now we need to attach our funny touch clips to the fretboard. That's how we're going to play our notes. I already finished this part. Now let's move on to the body. I have the LED panel block here. After we add the LED panel block, we have to add the buzzer block, the funny touch block, and then the smart power block. This cord connects the funny touch alligator clips to the funny touch sensor block. And this cable connects the ground wire to the other side. Huh? Who are a bunch of animals in this thing? Huh? How many animals are in here? Okay, there aren't really any animals in here. The app just allows you to play animal sounds. This is the ground wire. You have to hold the silver alligator clip that's connected to the ground wire in order for this to work so that the electrons can flow into the ground and complete the circuit. You can program the clips to make many different sounds. You can even program them to play full songs. This is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. If it's your birthday, hit the blue one. Shout out to anyone who has a birthday today! Happy birthday! Hope you enjoy JoJo Sign Show! Also, you can program the LEDs to light up different colors and shapes. Do you see how Happy Birthday does a birthday cake? And Jingle Bells has a Christmas tree. And Twinkle Twinkle Little Star has a bunch of stars on it. And Frere Jaca has a cat. Guess what we're going to turn all this cardboard into? The Explorer! The Explorer is a cool car. Again, the instructions are in the app. We're also going to use our LED strip in our Explorer. Look how I built my own wheels using these cardboard cutouts. The kit also has DC motors that you can connect into the DC motor block to make them go. We have one wheel done. We have the body. We have the motors in place. Here's the second wheel. For this project, we need our smart power block and our DC motor block. The next step, we put the LED strip block right here. Then we plug in the cord to it. Now we need the buzzer block. Boop. I got the LED panel. I've got my ranging sensor. It says to place it like this. Now we need to connect the two parts of the rover together. Now our Explorer is complete. Look how the LED strip and the LED panel lights up. Now it should go backwards or forwards, one of the two. Wow, this guy's rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, jumbling, gumbling. The app comes with code to make the Explorer back away whenever I put my hand in front of the raging sensor. Now the gyroscope on the phone is a controller. It takes, it takes a little bit to get it. So the rover responds to how I tilt the phone. Left, right, forward, backward. From cardboard and a few sensors. You gotta admit, this is pretty awesome. I bet you're wondering what I've got here. I've got more cardboard. Not much of a surprise. But can you guess what this cardboard will turn into? The answer is a piano. A piano? Wow, this one has a lot of cardboard. 
I need the LED strip. And now I kind of have to sew it through these holes. Now I'm going to make the piano keys. I have to repeat this process eight times so I get eight keys. So I need to put the smart power block right here. And now I need a buzzer block. Now I need the LED strip driver. I've got my connection cable, my ranging sensor. See how they move up? And then gravity pushes them back down again. The ranging sensor will be able to tell how far away it is. Now let's turn on the smart power block. On to the play steps. Bluetooth connection. You can program each piano key to play different sounds. They can play animal sounds. This really fun stuff we built with the Neuron Explorer kit. You could build even more gadgets. All you gotta do is snap a few blocks together and BAM! You've got yourself a simple and easy to use gadget. In Neuron you can build your very own projects. You don't have to stick to the guided projects. Here are six gadgets we built really easily using the Neuron kit. <laughs> We're going to make an edible band. All we need is the smart power block, the funny touch block, and the buzzer block. Now we connect the funny touch clips to the funny touch sensor block and, and the ground wire to it. See how fast that was? And now we connect all of the alligator clips to the fruit and vegetables and water. We've programmed each member of the band to play a note. You can edit the notes on the keyboard that appears in the app. So it's very easy to program the notes on your instrument. For our next gadget, we're going to make a simple alarm that would wake you up when it gets bright. We'll just snap these three blocks together. The smart power block, the light sensor, and the buzzer. In order to code your own projects, you go to the app where it says code and tap on it. Now, hit new project. Now, connect the phone to the smart power block. Mine is already connected, so let's see what we can make. The app automatically senses which blocks you have connected. We're going to program it so that when the light is in between 30 and 100, the buzzer will buzz. At night when it's dark, the alarm would be quiet. But as it gets brighter, as the sun comes up, then the alarm will go off. Wake up! Good morning! Guess what we're going to build next? I've had a problem with someone taking all my strawberries. Like, totally just ignore my sign. I know! I'll use the Neuron Kit to create a burglar alarm. All we need is a ranging sensor, a buzzer, and a smart power block. Snap them together, and like magic, we got ourselves a burglar alarm. Let's add the LED panel block so my burglar alarm can make a mean face whenever someone tries to steal my strawberries again. I programmed it so that whenever something gets within 50 units of it, then the buzzer will go off and it will make a mean face. 
Don't you steal my strawberries, you strawberry thief. Hey! A T-Rex! What's a dinosaur doing in my house? T-Rexes don't even like strawberries. You're a carnivore. We're going to make a nightlight. It's really easy to create a nightlight. All we need is the smart power block, the light sensor, and the LED panel block. And we snap them together. Turn on the smart power block. Now connect your, your smart power block to your phone by Bluetooth. Now we're going to write the code to make the nightlight function. When the light sensor senses the light is 0 to 30, it'll turn on the LED panel block. And when the light is above 30, then it'll turn off the LED panel block. Now we have a nightlight. Do you see how it turns on when I block the light from the light sensor? This is really cool. Wasn't this easy to make? Programming the Neuron Kit is very easy because the interface allows you to tell what the sensor is detecting in real time. What are we going to do next? Well, we're going to make a fan that automatically turns on whenever it gets hot. All we need is the smart power block, the temperature sensor, and the DC motor drive, plus a fan shape, the, one of the motors, and the temperature sensor thermometer. Now, let's build it. We can really set it up that fast. The code is really simple. If the temperature gets 25 degrees Celsius or higher, then it will change the motor speed to 50. Ah, that feels nice. We're going to stick the probe in some water to cool it down and you'll see the fan will stop. When it cools down, the fan turns off. But when it heats up again, it'll turn back on. There is a ton of uses for this type of fan. Your air conditioner and even some types of cars have this system. It's just that simple to build a thermostat with the Neuron Kit. The Neuron Kit makes building your own gadgets really easy. I like my water cold and I'm going to make a gadget to tell me if my water is cold enough to drink. All we need is the smart power block, the temperature sensor, the LED panel block, and the temperature probe. We plug the temperature probe into the temperature sensor block and we connect all the blocks together like so and turn on the smart power block and now all we have to do is program it. If my water temperature is over 15 degrees, it'll show a sad face. That means my water's too warm to drink. See? But if it's less than 15 degrees, it'll show a heart. That means it's cool enough for me to drink. When the temperature is high, it'll show a sad face like this. But when the temperature is cold, it'll show a heart. Let's see how cold my water is. Oh, look like this water is just a little too warm. I added a lot more ice because it wasn't cold enough. Now let's see if it's cold enough. Still too warm. Oh, it's a heart. It's cool enough for me to drink now. This is the same way food thermometers work. And people use it to check whether their food is finished cooking. Wasn't that easy? These are just a few of the gadgets that we came up with, but there are so many more gadgets that you can make with this kit. It's almost limitless. If you know a little kid who wants to become a scientist, this Neuron Explore kit is perfect. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell real loud so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun! <laughs>
you can go and build Jump. all them things. <laughs> <laughs>